When you have a bunch of individual olives, they are all separate pieces of fruit. But once they are placed in the press and the flesh of the olive is crushed, you will get a jar full of pressed oil. The oil is no longer individual or separate. The oil is now one oil. This is also true for the body of believers. As long as we are in our flesh, we will, we will remain a group of separate individuals. But once we get into the press, allowing our flesh to be crushed and allowing Abba Yah to press the oil out of us, once our flesh is dead and we are walking in the spirit, we will become a collective vessel full of one oil. We will be one once we are truly walking in the spirit. There can be no true oneness while we remain a slave to the flesh, ego, pride, fear, lust, covetousness, etc. We must die to our flesh so that we can live in the spirit and be one. This is when our love will be seen and known and our light will shine like the stars in the expanse. That is when the power will be seen. A renewed command I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this shall all know that you are my taught ones, if you have love for one another. John 13, 34 through 35. When you are dealing with another person who loves Yahushua, take everything else off the table. Leave everything else to the side that may divide and focus on that one part. This person loves Yahushua. We both love Yahushua and we identify with him in his suffering and will be esteemed with him in the resurrection. We are one body. How do we honor that in this moment? Let that be the lens that you proceed from. Hallelujah.